Hello and welcome to another video in this Python programming for beginner series. In this video, we'll be going over variables, data types, and the type function. Now let's get into things by opening the Thony IDE and let's start. Variables are containers for storing data values. Think of them as a bucket or a drawer. So if we have a variable named x and we store the value 3, Think of it as a bucket holding the number 3. We can have other variables such as y holding the value 2.2 or z with the value cuba. Variable names don't have to just have short one character names, they can be almost anything as long as they don't start with a number. Don't have any spaces or have any special characters except an underscore. Variable names are also case sensitive. So the variable name fancy name in all common letters is not the same as fancy name with a capital F. Let's look at some good and bad examples of variable names. Personally, when naming variables, I avoid underscores. Try to be simple and descriptive and use mixed case, where the first word is common, but subsequent words are capitalized, or camel case, where every word is capitalized. Data types are the form that the data takes in its variable bucket. For this beginner series, we will be focusing on four main data types, with a fifth type, which will be broken down later on. The first four are strings, integers, floats, and boolean. The fifth type, we'll talk about later, are called collections or arrays. And just remember, we'll explain those later. Strings are text in double or single quotes, or triple quotes for multi-line strings. So from our examples above, the variable z would be a string, so would Trinidad. A multi-line string would be Soka song, cent, five cent, ten cent dollar. Shout out to all the Caribbean people. Uh, notice the triple quotes, which can be single quotes or double quotes, as long as you remain consistent. Integers are positive or negative numbers without decimals. So from our examples, the variables x and man would be integers. Floats are positive or negative numbers with decimals. So from our examples, the variables y and usain1 underscore, underscore bolt would be floats. Booleans are a simple but powerful data type that can only be one of two things, true or false. Make sure the T and the F are capitalized. So, from our examples, the variables I and DIRT, with a capital T, would be booleans. Um, the final data type I won't be touching much on are called collections or arrays. I won't give any examples yet, but they can be a list, tuple, set, or dictionary, and sometimes are a combination of one or more data types. More on them later. To find out what data type a variable is, we can use the type function, which is built into Python. Let's use the type function, print stuff to the screen, and comment within our code in the next video in the series. But first, let's recap. Variables are containers for storing data. We have been calling them buckets. Data types are the form this data takes in our buckets and can be text, different kinds of numbers, true or false, or a collection of multiple data types. Also, to find out what type, what data type a variable is, we can use the type function. Feel free to experiment some more, and when you are ready, let's jump into the next video in the series.